Welcome back to Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Expresso on S3, and I'm super excited because usually you see us do the Expresso Karaoke, but now we're doing the Expresso Karate, which is very important because we're exploring Japan today, and we have Ian Orenso with us today, and we're broadening our horizons and seeking to understand different cultures across the world, and it's all about Japan, as mentioned. And we're joined by uh, Ian Orenso, who's the chief instructor from the Shorenji Martial Arts and Fitness Center in Berkeley, to get a lesson in Karate, which is something that I've always wanted to do in my life. Bucket list, bidding, ticked. Ian, welcome. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. I, I like how uh, how sort of calm you are. It's important. Does does karate do that for you? Is it one of those things that calms you down and relaxes you? Yeah, that is actually part of what it what it gives you. So it's, I think, the control. Control and relaxation. So apparently, there you also do training for for individuals, younger individuals, people my size, which is great. Um, so if that's also part of the, you know, what, what you do and part of your, your sort of commitment to the community as well. So it's not all about just the, the adult tricks of the trade. It's also about teaching the young ones to grow up to be possibly champions in the future. Yes. That's great. What is the best part of your job? Um, just sharing my knowledge. It's, you know, I've been doing it for a while, so it's actually just nice to share what I know with the uh, adults and kids here. So it's... Okay. And otherwise, out of all the martial arts, what is karate's sort of virtue out of the rest of them? What do you think is so special about it? I think the values that you get out of it, like I um, look at the, the level of respect. Yes. Control, like you say, being calm. Yeah. And so I think those are actually all in our daily society and that also with the stresses. I think it's a very, a very good outlet. That's great. Talking so, about outlets and, of course, your experience, I'd love to know what a class would be like for anybody who'd like to try and, and see what it's all about. Can we try something here? I know you've got a couple of your students. Students, sorry, I just want to make sure that I, I greet you guys. And how do you, how do you greet? I see that you're about to do the proper greeting. Show me that, that greeting there. There. Feet together like that. And then you go. You bow. I like that. There we go. Over to you. I'd love to see a little, a little couple of tricks here and there. Okay, so we're just going to, they've all got different color belts on, so those are the different grades that you get, okay. some of the different grades you get, and then we're just going to run through some basics. So you have basic punches and basic blocks. And so right. what we're going to do is just to demonstrate the different blocks. Yes. And you've got three different levels. So you've got the head, the chest, and the lower body, which in Japanese is called Jodan, Chudan, and Gedan. Yes. So we're just going to do a basic punch. So we put the left hand up. So we're standing in a stance called Fududachi. So we've got the left hand up, feet, okay. so our feet are next to each other. And we're standing in Fududachi. So from here, we're just going to do Chokozuki, which is a basic punch. So yes. we're punching towards the chest. So yeah. we go, so I'll be counting in Japanese. So we go, Ich, Ni, San, Chi, wow. Go, Rok, Sech, Hach, Gu, Ju. Okay, so we're punching to the head. So you, okay, so the, the front so when you punch, the, I see you, you're starting over here, this level over here. Yeah, the front hand's palm is down, the hand on the sides, palm is up. Okay. So when, you, when you're switching, then it's changing. Like this? Yeah. Okay, cool, I could do that. You want to do one of those rounds with me now? Now I'm very excited, I want to okay. join the guys. Okay, okay so we, go, we go 10 of those, we go okay. Ich, Ni, San, Chi, Go, Rok, Sich, Hach, Gu, Ju. Okay, so from here, Ooh. we've got the three levels, which I said is Jordan, Chudan, and Gedan. So yes. we're going to do a, a punch to the head. So we're going okay. to Jordan punch. We go, Ich, Ni, San. Ooh, that's, that's, that's nice and complicated. I like that. Let's do it again. So we go to the head. We so go, Ich. So, that's, so we're going up there. All right, so that's, yeah. Okay. Chest, Ni. And lower body, San. Oh, that's great. Okay, so when and somebody... There's a lot of flow to it as well. I yes. can feel that, you know, on a biomechanical level. It's got a good flow. Okay, so right. just the, those are the three level punches, so you'll right. get the, the blocks to defend yourself from those. So if you were punching to my head, I'd put my arm underneath and I'd block to protect my head that way. Ah, just up. So that, okay. is a, that is a head block. And I always see that the, the inactive hand is always primed to do in the next attack yes. or the next move, which is actually quite yes. beautiful. I see that a lot in martial arts, yeah, so, things flows. Yeah, so once you've done the block, then you've actually got your other hand geared for your, either your next counter-attack or, or defense attack. Brilliant. You want to up the ante, coach? Let's do something else. Let's, uh, let's, let's see how fast these guys can go. Have you done that? Okay, so let's put the left hand up again. Oh, okay. Let me see okay, how this ready? goes. So, sure. nice and fast. Let's yes. do it. Ready? Here we go. Chest punches. Chokazuki. Ready? We go. Ish. Okay. Ni! San! Chi! Go! Okay, five more. Let's give me a key on it. Ready? We go. Ish! Yeah! Ni! Yeah! San! Yeah! Chi! Yeah! Go! Yeah! Rock! Yeah! Sech! Yeah! Hutch! Yeah! Go! Yeah! Chi! Okay, yeah. 
last two double punch. Let's kia. Ready we go. H kia me kia sun kia chi kia go. That is kia. Nice. Back to yoi. Yes. Ooh. What is that? I heard that sound there. It was like a, 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 there was expression there. Okay, that is us is a us. Us is an acknowledgement. So normally when you're greeting, yes, I'd bow and you'd say us, which is saying hello or saying goodbye, or acknowledgement. So when I'm telling you to do something, you'd say us. So you wouldn't say yes. You'd say yes. us. So so us. Okay, us. this is great. Thank you, Ian, for, for that lesson. I think it was absolutely sensational and, and is a beautiful art form. I, I wouldn't even call it a martial art. It is an art form. It's beautiful. So thanks a lot for everything. Um, I, I just thought, or should I say arigato? Is that a very important though for me saying thank you? Thank you very much. Domo arigato. You. There we go. And also, I want to give you a proper bow. Thank you. Us. As you can see, there's your lesson. Obviously, don't try it at home against anybody. Try it sort of to the air. You don't hurt anybody at home, but that is karate here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show, just to make sure that you start your weekend with a kick-butt type of attitude.